Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play the Thousand Year Door. Alright, so we finished up Peach's little segment where she snuck into Grotus' room and retrieved the data disc. Now we're taking over to Bowser, who's apparently made it to Twilight Town. Black, what is this place? Why is the light so weird here? It's spooking me out. The light's odd because this is Twilight Town, my lord. There should be treasure here. Let's put the screws to one of these creepy things and find the crystal star. Sounds good to me, Haggy. Let's get to it. Alright, so we're here in uh, Twilight Town. B -b 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 huh? C crystal star? I have no idea. Really? B please spare me! No! Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess you're fine. I'm dreaming. Yep. Just a bad dream. Gonna wake up any second. <laughs> Whatever you say, buddy. No, 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 am I gonna be turned into a pig again? Eh, not quite. Yeek! Sh 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 uh, these guys are no help. What about you, Lord Crump? Oh, man, I'm pretty sure Beldum said she lost her super bomb bomb around here somewhere. This stinks, really. This whole deal is extremely bad, 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 bad! I gotta cowboy up and make a serious comeback here, or else... Oh, hey, look what he found. Bam! Got it! I am the man! Now we can crush Mario and get the Crystal Stars in one fell swoop. Hot diggity dog! Bah, bah, bah! The luck of the moon is still riding shotgun with me. The uh, luck of the moon, you say, huh? You there, suspicious guy. You know something about the Crystal Stars, don't you? Bah? Somebody there? Hey, what's the big idea, turtle boy? You looking for the Crystal Stars, too? Sweet! This will help the crump come back. Now then, let's get to it. You'll be telling me everything you know. Now. Uh, actually, it's you who's gonna spill every bit of info out of your big, ugly head. Yeah, sorry about that. And if you hesitate at all, I'll show you no mercy. Whoa, well there, big guy. I, I mean, no, wait, what am I afraid of, you? Bah, 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 ha, ha. If you think you can take me, then try it, chubby. All troops, report. Whoa, nice. Bah, 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 ha, ha. Yeah, you like that? Got a lot of dudes, huh? You feel like talking yet? A lot of dudes. Nice. <laughs> you dare scoff at us? Koopa Clan, form up! Ooh, alright. <laughs> You're kind of a battle here, huh? Whoa, well played! <laughs> so what's it gonna be, tough guy? Oh, I gotta laugh! This is why I keep one of these around! Sorry, suckers! Eat this, turtle dorks! Super Bomb Bomb! Uh-oh. Incoming! Ooh, right in the nose. Huh? That was it? That was your big weapon? It didn't even go off! <laughs> this is how you do it, amateur! Watch and learn! Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, crud. Yikes! Holy crap! <laughs> Man. Okay, so apparently Bowser and Lord Crump have destroyed Twilight Town completely. That's good to know, right? <laughs> Man. Okay, so looks like that's gonna do it for the, pal the uh, Peach and Bowser segments. So here we are, back to Mario again. You, you have distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy in my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Hey, nice. Ah, many thanks to you. The ship can get us back to Rogueport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Turning home alive is all the treasure I need, for real. Now get this boat moving. Yeah, seriously, man. Well, that is all there is to it, then, am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Uh, Mario. We're gonna stay here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will you? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, eh? We're gonna do all right here, I think. Yeah, let's break out, Mario. Sure thing. Ready, amigos? Cast off! All right, so we are on our way back to Rogueport at last, and it looks like we left a few people behind to sort of uh, set up a civilization there. Yeah, I guess all in all, it wouldn't really be a bad place to live, huh? Probably gotta watch out for the, uh, <laughs> the jungle fuzzies and piranha plants whenever you go out, but... Yeah, wouldn't be a bad place. And thus our adventure came to an exciting end, huh? The ship sailed smoothly onto Rogue Point, and soon we saw the harbor off our bow. I did not find the treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange though it sounds. 
for I have found something even more precious than doubloons. Yes, even now I hear the crew readying to dock. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Flavio. Nice. Alright, so that brings an end to Flavio's journal and uh, the end of our journey to Kill Hall Key. At last we return, slathered in glory, to my hometown sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all, huh? But of course, you all know that, and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us. Perhaps chance will bring us all together again someday. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame those guys. What? what? Hey, where are... You're all leaving already? Oh, that was harsh. <laughs> Watch them all going up there. It's kind of crazy. Such is life, Captain Mario. You're anxious to continue your own adventure also, huh? Yep. One day you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio in greatness and fabulousness. It is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, huh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kiel Hall Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Sure thing. Yes, yes, you giant skull, you. Your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, my adoring fans have gone, so I'll be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I would permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, huh? Sure thing. Okay, Gonzalez, that's our cue. Let's break out of here and head for the door. Yep, pretty much. Alright, so, say goodbye to Flavio, because we probably won't be seeing him again, but uh, he did actually help us out in the end a little bit, so I guess he's not all uh, useless after all. Gonzalez, that's you, bud. It's got to be an email from Princess Peach. Yeah, let's check it. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there's an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with his tech, I've managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is, our currently, tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be good, okay? Rock on! That princess is pretty rad, huh? Wow, we gotta get to work, too. <laughs> pretty much. Okay, so as usual, we've got a few things to be doing in between chapters. Uh, Shine Sprite Collecting being pretty much on the top of my list. Uh, I'm going to have to admit here, I didn't really have time to practice this next segment before <laughs> jumping into recording, so um, I'm pretty much just relying off the top of my head here. Oh, we got another email. Let's check it. Uh, important things, mailbox, RDM, huh? Gumez, age 40, huh? All right, so going on through here. And uh, as usual, if you guys really want to read it, you can pause it. Uh, I've heard there's some pretty interesting stuff in here, but uh, I'm not going to waste the time. Because, I mean, this would be a lot of reading. It would take up like half the video. So, okay, there we go. <laughs> Hopefully you guys got that who wanted it. Okay, so one of the Shine Sprites that I know of that we need to be getting is going to be back over here to the west. We kind of have a, a couple of cracked walls we need to be uh, getting at with Bobbery now that we've got him in our party. You may have noticed this one over here a long, long time ago. I mean, we've seen it for a few chapters now. Over there. All right. <laughs> kind of had to turn at the last minute. All right, so we've blown that up, and there's a Shine Sprite here on the ground. So we can uh, pick that up. And a, another Star Piece there, too. Okay, so um, I think that's the only one that's in the actual uh, town. There's still a few more in the sewers. We're actually going to be picking up quite a few in the sewers here. So I guess we can just kind of take care of what's on the way first here. I don't know where Luigi is in this chapter. I actually have no idea. But uh, Oh, well. I guess if I don't find him in this episode, I'll look it up and <laughs> we'll see him next time. But. Alright, so first off, we want to be, uh... Oh, wow, Merlin's out of his house. What's up, man? Oh, what impeccable timing. Yes, this was destined. When I consulted my star charts, I saw a port portentous sign for you, Mario. It went thusly. In the house of the dragon that flew through the air, beyond the reversible stair. Near the empty black chest that cursed you lies a clue to help your allies learn. I have no idea what it means, unfortunately, but I have no doubt of its importance as a sign for you and your friends. If you figure out this mystery, come and tell me immediately. All right, yeah, so we kind of got a, a little bit of a hint there as to uh, something we need to be picking up. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, power up Bobbery here since we've got plenty of Shine Sprites for it. And yeah, Shizubi Shizubi, and we're going to uh, level him up. So uh, basically he said the house of the dragon that flies through the air. Well, the only dragon that we know of is uh, 
was Hooktail, right, back in the very first chapter. So, looks like we need to be going back to his place in order to pick up something. Alright, but first, let's check out what we got for Bobbery here. Hold fast. Damage enemies that directly attack Bobbery. Yeah, sort of a counter-attack sort of thing. Kind of a neat idea, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if you never see it. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, there's also something over in the Trouble Center we need to be picking up. I think I mentioned that special trouble uh, in the last, like, in-between chapters part, but... Uh, for now, let's just go ahead and down into the sewers. There's a few here that we can be getting. Uh, we can blow up this wall over here, I think, and uh, go in this pipe. And there should be something in here. Oh, pff, come on. Oh yeah, this one's <laughs> a little bit different, huh? It's kind of a, a guy with a bucket on his head. What's up, man? <laughs> Welcome to Chet Ripper's Adjustment House. This is where you come to adjust your abilities or your partner's ranks. If you want some adjustment done, talk to me from the other side of the table. Yeah, so this is kind of an interesting place here. Hehehe, <laughs> you've come quite a ways. This is Chet Ripo's adjustment. Yeah, you just said that. If you think you want to change your abilities or your partner's ranks, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. That's a random number. So, who needs some adjustment, hmm? Alright, so we can uh, change some things here. Um... But if we increase, like, HP, then either our FP or BP is going to go down. So, in a sense, you can kind of, uh, like, readjust your stats here if you're not happy with how you've been allocating them. But, uh, you know, just be warned that something else will be going down. I mean, you're not just getting this for free. So, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm pretty uh, happy with what I got. So, let's go ahead and uh, head out here. And uh, back through here. Alright, so, um, like I said, I didn't really get to practice this segment that much before we, uh, <laughs> got to record here. So, I'm pretty much just gonna head into the Thousand Year Door, I think, for right now. Whoa, holy crap! There's a Hammer Pro here, I don't even remember that. Uh, I guess I need to come, didn't need to come all the way down here, but... Uh, there we go, we got to see a, a different enemy. And a Magic Koopa, wow. Okay, I, uh, can we go over here, actually? I mean, I see like, water in the little boat, like, doorway you can get through, so. Uh, I still don't think we can do anything over here yet, though. No. Okay. Yeah, okay, well, I guess there's nothing over there we can do for now. I know there's, like, a bunch of shine spots we can pick up here. Uh, you know, don't bother, like, trying to explain where they are to me, <laughs> because I'm gonna look them up in, in between episodes and we'll, uh, get them in the next part, but... All right, you know, I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here so I can look up where that stuff is. And uh, in the next part, we'll pick up the shine sprites that need to be picked up and uh, probably head on to the Thousand Year Door. So until then, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.